Okay. I'm on my way to church. That's my outfit. We gotta wear orange and green today. That's the color I picked. I gotta bring the word. I got my robe. I really don't like Karen. Because I be scared it's gonna wrinkle up. I know I got my little, my little hair sticking over here. I'll fix that. So, we're going to go see what today brings. I had a little bobo in my head. It was pink. It went with my outfit yesterday. Went to city out. But, I ain't got nothing on pink today, but... I'm wearing it. Just like I'm wearing these easy sneakers today. Shoot. I'm, I, now I'm thinking about it. They had us so hyped up on this, um, hyped up on these clothes. You had to look like you going to church. I grew up, right? I grew up in church. Right? I ain't gonna be able to keep this around my neck. Cause it hurts. As I was saying, they had us so hyped on this church thing, right? No, not the church thing, correction. The church going, looking like you're going to church type of thing. I got this roll cream and I'm wearing it today. Because I don't want it to wrinkle. Because then... I have to wear my purple one. So as I was saying, they had us all hyped up on this clothes thing, right? And um, you had to be dressed like you're going to church. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> your life can be deadly. I mean, we used to go out, just going out, like going out to the, not to the store, but like if we going out shopping or something, we always had to wear flats. I never wore sneakers. And I always be like, oh, I'm not a sneaker person. Yes, I am a sneaker person, because you never believe how much sneakers I wear today. To the point where I bought some. I got me some Adidas. And I got me some Nike. Okay, this robe was long. I tried it on once I put my heels on. Dang, I'm trying to keep it. Uh, well, it's in plastic, but I can't seem to get comfy without the top part. Okay, so let's see if I can fix this. I 
hive it is on me. Yeah. And just so they decide it came out, but I don't even care. So, um, yeah, just going out, we had to wear. But that was just something that I started doing when I got older. That's why I say, living with my grandmother, she didn't have me looking all crazy. I was a church girl, yes I was. But I still was allowed to wear my short jean skirt. If I wanted to wear sneakers, I was allowed to wear sneakers. If I wanted to wear short sleeve, I was allowed to wear short sleeve. The only thing I couldn't do, I couldn't wear these things in the church. I mean, I wore the jean skirt in the church. See, but the thing is, is that they just took all the, they, they made you feel like, when you go out, there was no separation in clothing. My grandmother separated my clothing. There was clothing that I wore to church and clothing that I wore to school or outside to play in. I played handball, I ran track, all that stuff with a skirt. They had something that was called a gym suit that we was allowed to, I could let us wear it. Now today, people be, t I mean, when the kids that came out after me, like Michelle and, not my kids, cause you know, I had, I raised my kids how I was raised. So, but, we should have Smallwood kids. Who else had kids in there? Elder Robinson kids. They grew up in a very strict environment. Now, Bishop Mingo was strict. Mother Wilson was strict. But they were strict towards salvation. They wasn't strict with your clothing and stuff. And that's why I keep telling them. I said, well, I don't know, I don't know where y'all got that from. What happened, but I wasn't told that. And they, they probably got mad because it was like, they probably were saying, well, Bishop Mingo telling us to do it and wasn't telling y'all to do it. So, I know one time Bishop had said that when we was talking about hats. I said, well, I wasn't told I had to wear no hat. I went to Bishop Mingo, asked Bishop Mingo, could I wear a prayer cap? And she said, well, she was supposed to get up and tell her. I said, she wasn't supposed to tell nobody nothing. I'm the one who went to her and asked her. He was upset. Well, that wasn't right. She was supposed to get up and tell everybody. I was like, no, she wasn't. Everybody didn't ask. I asked. And since I was the one that asked, I'm the one who got the answer. She ain't never tell y'all y'all gotta wear a hat if y'all ain't wearing a hat, Joe's going to hell. Maybe she told y'all to wear a hat, but she ain't never say y'all was going to hell if you ain't wearing no hat. She ain't even tell you was going to hell if you get a TV in your house. And Bishop be talking about watching all this stuff on TV. Well, the word said, whatever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are holy. Then he said, whatever, whatsoever things are a good report. I don't know the comfort in there. So that just goes to show that you can watch things on television and it's telling you whatsoever thing. I'm not so hyped up on this message like I was last night. I was really hyped up on that message. I'm just going to... Actually, I was doing my best last night. I missed people in some days. God used me in such a way that I got a blessing. I'm about to 
moon right we gonna come flying right over here. We had V City yesterday. We had V City yesterday. And we went to City Island. Let me see if I can put this on my own. I don't think it's made for all. We had B City yesterday, cause when we got there, we went outside, cause they were saying, We got there early. We got there at night time. We got there real nice time. And, um, uh, couldn't even stay outside because the bees was eating us up. It wasn't really bothering. I mean, where we were sitting at at first, they had us all at one table, big long table, probably three tables in one. Well, um, they was really going crazy that they had to take us inside. They had to set up a place for us. I said, you know what, Lord, you're so good. You never know what's going to happen. They had their own policies, their own rules and stuff like that. But um, God made a way just for us. <laughs> that just proves right there that it's not a necessity for us, you know. I was like, wow, when they came and said that they was going to do that, I was like, oh my goodness. We calling, asking this and asking that. And God said, don't you worry about this. I got this, I got this covered. Let me see what about that.